Today's floor plan is one of the most sought after floor plan for the next generation model with this builder. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today's floor plan is something that a lot of people had requested. This is the multi-generational floor plan. It is four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom, two car garage for just about 475 to 480 depending upon the, if it's a corner lot and what upgrades it has and it is something that with this builder a lot of people have been requesting. Now this is not a uh, a floor plan that is on display. What I mean by that, it's not a furnished, it's just something that is completed, but I want to bring that to you because sometimes, you know, and I don't understand, but sometimes the builders are going to build like 12 different models, but will only have two kind of models furnished in every community. And that is something with this builder. They always have their Heron and Cali, but they have like 10 other different floor plans or 12 other different floor plans. So I'm trying to get you all. Now, one thing that I love about this is that you have this really nice cemented walkway. You have your two car garage. It is a true story, but wait till you go inside. Now with this builder, there's no base price as such. And Everything is kind of an inclusive price and I'm going to tell you more about it. So let's go inside and check this beautiful model. So you have this nice walkway. What I really love about this house is the elevation in the front. I really love that on a beautiful day, maybe it's too sunny today and I've got enough tan, but on a beautiful day, you can just sit around here and just uh, look at your beautiful community. So let's go inside and check this beautiful rest of the model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful floor plan. Now, it's not a decorated model, and if this is your first time and you are looking for a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa, Tampa Bay areas, this is a great resource. So press that thumbs up button, show us some love, because we bring you eight plus models throughout Central Florida, Orlando, and Tampa areas. And if you are not sure about which area to buy in, then make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. That's where I go into the communities. We talk about a lot of suburban areas of Orlando, Greater Orlando, Tampa, and Tampa Bay. We talk about school, shopping, hospital, everything that you really need to know so that you can compare one suburban area to another. And today's floor plan is something that a lot of people have asked for. Since we're kind of getting into that baby boomer, a lot of builders are now accommodating something called the next generational floor plan. Now, this is with one of my favorite builders. And one of the things that I love about them is that their home is always block over block. When you compare that to any other builder, most of the time your first floor is going to be block and the second floor is going to be a frame. But with this builder you have, and the other thing that I love about this builder is it's an all end price. They have different packages and this house would be basically four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom, and about 2775 square foot. It's in a community with no CDD and the HOA is just about $86 a month. Includes a community pool, cabana, kids play area. So it's really nice. It's right off the new expressway on 453 and the lot size is 70 by 120. And that is something that you're always gonna find on the outskirts. You're not gonna find that in Kissimmee, Claremont, uh, or Orlando, I mean like uh, some parts of Claremont, you may find bigger lots, but for the most part, the lots are like 50 by 110, 120, 60, and so, the, but this lot is 70, it's in Mount Dora. So as I turn back, the standard ceiling height is 8.8 eight with this builder, you have the 6.8 door. This is a standard feature. One of the other thing, they just upgraded their sockets. So you are not going to see any wire right behind it. Now I have covered that in other models. This is something that they just started to do all your wet area and common areas are going to have this beautiful tile which is a standard feature with the builder and here is something that I want to show you have the very first door to the first bedroom with its own living area you have like a kitchenette so let's go inside and this is something which is a lot of people are requesting they want to be able to have some sort of uh, a mother-in-law suite and this would be a perfect candidate so you have this living area right over here everything is pretty much standard the upgrade is in regards to having the 
the granite with this water station right here so that is you can always have an induction you probably cannot have a full stove but they did made a room for it but there's no socket but you can have some sort of an induction and this is basically for a small like a fridge that you can use you know but it's right there so if you have elderly parents uh, this is a great floor plan in that regards and then as I go across or as I go straight you are going to come to the very first bedroom and look at the size of this bedroom 2775 square foot no CDD actually is just about 86 you have this nice big bedroom carpet is a standard feature everything that you see here is pretty standard and look at this walk-in closet I love the size of this walk-in closet it's very comfortable so if you are taking care of an elderly parent they have their privacy they are right there with you and and you have your privacy because all your secondary bedroom and your master bedroom is upstairs but you also have this nice walk-in and look at that this is something that a lot of people want they want a walk-in shower so it's pretty convenient comfortable and then the standard feature is the undermount sink the the faucets that you see and also the granite now with this builder they have different packages depending upon which package you choose it may be a different color tile with a different color granite that is something that you need to keep in mind and now as i go outside what i also love is that you have a lot of room it's like it's i'm i'm almost touching but like my hands are like it's a good space you know how you have some of the homes that are so narrow this is really nice the whole house opens up this is where you have your two-car garage and this is something that i wanted to point out you have this really nice two-car garage and then you have your water heater right over here with this over here this kind of helps you because if you drive anything like i do you really need something that tells you not to go so that you don't end up kind of running into your own water heater so good amount of space right over here and then as i come out of this you also have this space which could be your coat closet or just a little storage space this is something that would help you and then you also have half a bathroom so they really thought this through you have a half a bathroom over here so which is really nice so you have a full bedroom and a bathroom next generation over there with its own living area and then you have half a bathroom so when you're entertaining guests they have half a bathroom to be able to use but look at this space wow doesn't this whole thing opens up you can have your family living right over there you can keep keep an eye over there for what's cooking you know you could do everything but look at all the space and then let me go ahead and take you to the kitchen this is a standard feature with the builder in regards to the size of the island as you see over here you do get the uh you do not get the washer dry or refrigerator but you do get your stove your microwave now right now they are doing some incentives and yes i know that the market has shifted but if you're going to get an fha or a conventional on an fha that can close in the next 60 days they're doing 5.5 percent interest rate they will buy down your rate and also give you some money for closing cost i believe it is about ten thousand dollars so it's really really good because that difference alone will save you three to four hundred dollars a month and so that really makes this affordable so that is something to keep in mind if you get conventional your rate is 5.75 but that is something because right now the rates are close to seven percent and and as the market shifts as the market change you know if the rates go down you can always refinance if they go up you already have a better rate you know so if you've been thinking about just stopping and not doing that i can assure you that the prices are not going to come down on the resale they have come down but on the brand new homes just by basic economics of the money it costs to to kind of build and the material and the labor everything has gone up so they may not go up as high as what we have seen in the past but they are still going up in the standard market it usually used to go up between five and ten sales and that is something that i am seeing you also have this nice walk-in closet and look at all the space you have or actually a pantry a walk-in pantry rather than a closet but this this is really good now i always talk about closet because i don't really have much of a closet space and then you also have a covered patio area let me go ahead and take you outside so you can see the patio area but also what you can see is how big your lot is and that is something you know is really good now this is in a community in mount dora and mount dora is just growing it's right next to claremont you're not very far from claremont and if you go into the suburban you're going to get more bang for your buck 
all under 500,000. And if you do some upgrades, you can really have a beautiful house. Now, this is where your lot line goes up to. You see how it's kind of there, it changes. This is your lot. You could build a huge pool, still have a really good amount of space. So you could do a lot of things. Well, put that in the comment below. What do you think of this lot? And I'm going to take you upstairs. That's where you have the master bedroom. You also have your secondary bedroom and the other two. The only thing that I personally like, I, I do understand why they put the stairs all the way here, because when I first was walking through it, I was like, oh, that's kind of strange, because usually the stairs are right at the very beginning or something. but this makes sense in regards to the flow of the house because i always say it's not the square footage as much as it is the flow the only thing that i would probably do is get more light because when you have such a big living area i think extra lights are great now today is a beautiful day but this is florida it's beautiful probably in the next hour it could be all dark gloomy and raining like god knows how i'm like it just rains and then an hour later it's beautiful nice sunny and sticky so let's go upstairs now before i go up there you do have this space right there so it has a lot of space in terms of storing things and everything that you need so let's go upstairs and check rest of this beautiful model so as i come upstairs you're going to see you have this side rail which is basically to help you and this is something that you need by code and then you have the ceiling height which is about eight foot on the second floor and as i was saying in the beginning the best thing about this is that this is a concrete block home this is something how they build back home i'm originally from india and we build home with concrete we don't really have block downstairs and a frame but that's just how they built over here for the most part because most builders do that but with this builder it's a pretty standard feature all their homes are always block over block i love this little space right there you it's not literally a big like i wouldn't say a loft but a comfortable place you can have a small uh, table just like a little workstation or something if you want and then as i go around you have the other bedroom and i love that you have this nice window bringing in a good amount of light you have the light over there. Now, if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, especially when you are going to be um, building from scratch, then make sure to do that because it's going to help you save money and it's going to tell you where you should spend the money so that you kind of get an idea because you don't want to spend money with the builder on every little thing because it's going to cost you a lot of money. Some of the things you can always do that later and then you have this nice walk-in closet and i love that you have a single door to your closet rather than those double doors or the sliding door that is just something that i personally don't like and then right across from it you have your laundry and like i said you know the washer dryer do not come but this is your laundry space it has good space so you can always get that cabinets that you want upstairs not a lot of room in terms of a wash station but on this side, you can actually have a fold station if you like, you know, so that is something you could do. And then right across from it is another storage space. So you have a lot of storage space. And then as I go over here, this is your other bedroom with a nice walk-in closet, pretty much very similar size. And this is why I always say it's the flow that really matters. And this would work personally for me really, really well. My in-laws are often here and, and they like to spend time and they're here for a couple of months. So it's really nice that they're going to be downstairs. They have their privacy. They have their own living area, a little kitchenette. That is just something that I personally like. But like I said, it's really dependent upon your situation. And then right over here is your other bathroom, which is a shower tub combination with the plexiglass. You know, you can always get the tiles and stuff to do later on, but it's a pretty good size. You have the the uh, the cabinet color, which is a standard feature with this builder, undermount sink, the granite, and then wait till you see the master bedroom. It's just absolutely massive. So it's four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom, 2775 square foot with no CDD in one of the most growing part. And look at the size of this master bedroom. Isn't that beautiful? Like, look at this, the only thing and those of you who watch my video all the time, they know I, I would really love to have more lights, especially when you have a bedroom like this. Now guys, I'm gonna be doing a very, very, very important video, especially if you are going to be building a home from a builder, whether you're buying an inventory home, whether you're building from scratch, that video is something that you really, really, really have to watch. It's gonna be releasing in the next week and a half, actually two weeks, and I, I can't tell you more about it, 
but I can promise you that that is a video that you really need to watch, especially if you're thinking about building a home, especially if you're in contract uh, and you are buying a brand new home, because I'm going to tell you things that I have firsthand learned from it. And that is going to be one of my best videos because there's so much, so much to learn from it. And I'm going to show you and I'm going to talk about it because as a consumer, you really need to know those things. and. These are things that I have learned firsthand. So I'm going to stop at that. I don't want to say anything more than that for now, but you have this nice window over here, another window over here, and you have a lot of room over here. And look at your master bathroom. Isn't this amazing? You have so much room. And what I really love is that you have the double sink. She's on that side. I am on this side. She ain't coming to my side. And that's what I love. You know, she has her own thing, but this is really nice space. And then right across from it, you have your water closet, very comfortable size. And then right behind it, you also have a small towel area. And then you have this walk-in shower area right over here, which is what I like. I'm not a big fan of shower tub combination. I would rather have that. As long as the house has one shower tub combination, I'm pretty good with that, but that's pretty much it. And then this is where you have your closet space right here. So pretty good size with the window. And then right across is also her closet space, right? I mean like my closet space is that little space that I was telling you, but look at this. So I, I would be happy if I just get this space. And I know my wife will take every single closet in this area and in the house and then she will still run out of the space well does your wife do that put that in the comment below if you haven't checked our videos out on orlando living where we talk about different cities school hospital shopping please go ahead and do so please show us some love press that thumbs up button now that i'm TikToking and instagramming make sure to check us out over there and thank you so much for the reach out we have grown our channel we have grown our team and please keep in mind our services to you is absolutely free so when you give us a call you will be talking to somebody on my team their job is to connect you to an agent whether that be me or somebody else from my team and one thing that we are very very specific is that we always do a zoom call so we know exactly what you are looking for what your budget is what area so when you come down you're shopping like a pro we're not there to show you 100 homes and none of them fits your criteria or your budget we want to make sure that we know exactly what you want and we are going to tell you because buying a house is a very emotional thing. So we don't want to show you something that you fall in love with only to find out you cannot afford it or it's not within your price or the budget or the area. So that is why this is something that I'm very admin that we do that call. We understand your needs. So when you come, we have everything planned for you. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.